like how they're using artificial mist, so to speak, when it is so misty and cloudy right now. Okay, maybe this will be a spooky looking video with all this mist and fog and all that. It was this continuation of the CES today. Lots of interesting stuff. I guess the first one was with this. GM announcing Cadillac vehicles and stuff. I guess nothing too new about that overall. I mean, a vehicle is a vehicle. But apparently they announced like a personal drone as you can see here. Their vision is, oh, too busy on the road. Just hop into your drone and fly off. Basically it's like the stuff you'd see in movies. Although my first reaction is, as cool as that is, just from things like those regulations and all that, it'll take a while for this to ever happen in that sense. I guess they're just showing their vision in terms of the future and what they're working on in general. We'll probably see more drone deliveries first before stuff like this becomes a reality in terms of our regular everyday life anyways. How you can like hail a taxi. I just can't see this happening anytime soon just with things like regulations and all that. And with new drones, Autel did announce a new drone today. You'd expect something that's more, I guess, consumer oriented normally, but what is this? A complete difference. The Dragonfish, they say. It's basically shaped like a traditional aircraft where in these designs, it should allow for longer flight time and all that. And so what did they say about it here? It says the Dragonfish's unique tilt rotor design simplifies operation and maximizes performance and efficiency. With no complicated moving parts, the Dragonfish is modular, waterproof, smart, and reliable. The Dragonfish is a mission ready right out of the box and includes a powerful AI tracking capabilities and a multitude of modular payload options. An endurance of 120 minutes, including the payload. Obviously, this is meant more for commercial applications, not just for the regular Joe to fly around capturing footage or anything like that. And it says here the max speed is what? 30 ms, service ceiling above sea level. 6,000 meters. So this will be kind of interesting in terms of an option out there. They also indicate here it says three minute quick assembly. That's kind of interesting. Do they intend to have this thing in a case and then you just whip it out and then assemble it as they say and then take off? Probably not as convenient obviously as the more traditional quadcopter designs. An interesting new option for people looking for something like this with more flight time. So I'd have imagined this is meant more for surveying areas over and over again, for example, or I guess you could say for drone deliveries and all that. And for computer stuff, which I was interested in, apparently Nvidia announced a new graphics card, although you'd think it's a downgrade overall because they announced the RTX 3060. As you guys know, there's basically a higher end one, but this one's meant to be, I guess, cheaper to capitalize on every single type of market, I guess you could say because it says here it's starting at 329. So that's not bad price as opposed to paying almost like what? Something like 600 to almost a thousand for the really top tier ones. And the kind of weird thing is this one, even though it's lower end compared to some of the higher ones, it has more memory, like by default, basically 12 gigabytes. That's kind of weird. People are wondering what? Why does the lower end one have more RAM and all that? Many people theorize this is because of the competition, so a response to that, basically, again, offering way more price points so that you can capitalize on as many people as possible, which is the great thing about competition. And speaking of which, AMD did announce some stuff. It seems like their presentation was mostly about processors for mobile, things like laptops and all that. For example, the Ryzen 5000 series for mobiles. And they also announced things like the Epic processor. That's meant more for server applications, extreme medical software and all that. Not as much consumer oriented stuff, unfortunately. Seems like actually a lot of companies are going after big business instead of the regular consumer with their presentations, which I assume is where a lot of the money is in general, correct? And although this isn't CES related specifically, this has actually been going around a lot in terms of, I guess you could say, tech and communications. With all that recent news about social media companies banning people and all that, apparently WhatsApp, which is owned by Facebook, is updating their terms of service where you could essentially share data between that WhatsApp and Facebook. It gives them, I guess, the rights to do so. And because of that, everyone's leaving WhatsApp, it seems like. This one says, WhatsApp will disable your account if you don't agree sharing data with Facebook. Respect for your privacy is coded into our DNA, opens WhatsApp's privacy policy. Since we started with WhatsApp, we've inspired to build our service with a set of strong privacy principles in mind. But come on February 8, 2021, this opening statement will no longer find a place in the policy. The key updates concern how it processes user data, how businesses can use Facebook hosted services to store and manage their WhatsApp chats, and how we partner with Facebook to offer integrations across the Facebook company products. So that did not sit well with a lot of people and they're basically leaving it really fast. They're basically going onto alternative platforms. For example, a popular one is called Signal 
and this one's basically claiming it's end-to-end, -end, user to user. Basically, it's very encrypted and all that. So while everyone's jumping ships, they try to, I guess you could say, calm everything down. So I know this is just meant for like business people, but with all the news and stuff like that, people are leaving. So that's something to look into, I guess, if you use apps like that. Because I think, as everyone would know, too much control in that sense with things like data and all that can be really scary, especially if you become reliant. So more, I guess, diversity in terms of providers, the better overall, in my opinion anyways. Will you be leaving this service as well if you actually use it? on the wide scrolls just watching what is this See you guys later.